Okay. I've got to wait for the sirens. Can you hear the siren? Mm hmm. Waiting. Waiting. Okay, now we can start. What's going on everybody? Claudio Zavala Jr. here. Thanks for stopping by once again. A huge, huge welcome to all of you first time visitors. Thank you for checking this uh, video out and this channel. I've got a question for you. How many of you share your photos on Instagram stories? I've got a quick guide for you using one of my favorite apps, Adobe Spark Post. I'm gonna show you how you can create some sweet professional looking images that you can share on your Instagram stories. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me launch Adobe Spark Post. And on the bottom, you'll see that green plus sign. Let's go ahead and tap on that and search the photos in my library. I'm going to choose three photos for this demonstration. I'm going to use uh, these right here. I just went to Six Flags. I'm going to click or tap on add three on the top right. And here at the bottom, I have the option to choose a social post. I'm going to scroll through and find Instagram story and click done. I'm going to go ahead and double tap to change that text and have it say fun at six flags and tap done. And then down at the bottom, I have the option to adjust the look and the style of that font. I'm going to go ahead and make some adjustments here. Change my color to white. Choose an effect. I'm going to give it an outline. Make that outline just a little bit thicker. Tap done. Resize this down over here. And check out what I'm going to do. I'm going to tap done here. And then I'm going to tap on layout towards the bottom there and tap on these suggested layouts. And if you use the shuffle, what we'll do is it'll shuffle the images until you get the layout that you choose. And so I'll kind of play around with it. And that doesn't matter to me right there because what I'm going to do is tap done and move this text out. Cool thing is I can get rid of that cell and Let's get this text back down here. And for some reason, the font there changed colors. So let me go here and change that back to black. And if we're good there, what I'm going to do is adjust these frames. And I think I like this one here. And we'll make that a little smaller. Let's adjust the joker up here. So we'll play around with the look of the layouts there. Let's move this image up. And that's pretty much kind of the way I want it to look like. And now I have it ready for my Instagram. And now what I'll do is tap on share. And I have several options here. I can choose to save the image onto my camera roll or immediately tap on Instagram and head on over and share this to my story. And if I choose to do feed, I can change the size to be that traditional square layout for Instagram. Um, so I'll tap on story there. And there you see I'm inside Instagram. I go ahead and add like my hashtags if I want and tag other folks in this uh, image here. I can choose to do the filters there if I want to. And that's how easy it is to create some really professional looking images that you can share on your Instagram stories. So if you're ever looking to up your game, Adobe Spark Post is a great tool that you can use. Let me know what you thought about this video. If you enjoyed it, 
give it two thumbs up. Click on that like button down there at the bottom. And if you have any questions or comments or have used Adobe Spark Post before, please add it in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Don't forget to click on that notification bell. Until next time, be good to one another. Peace. I'm out.